Hey guys, it's Creighton from the Prolog Echelon, and I'm going to do a quick healing tutorial from the Sage perspective. And the main focus of this tutorial is going to be how to use Resplendence to your advantage, and not just to keep using it as a quick way to get Salvation and go over and over as an insta-cast. Most important thing to know here, this is a Sage tutorial, not a Sorcerer, so although the skills are the same, the Verge will be different. So here we're running a 16-man Red Palace story mode. Nothing, nothing too special here. And as we're going down, we'll just go ahead and keep an eye on exactly what's kind of going on. And I will go over the way I handle particular situations, and hopefully this helps you. Notice that you salvation without resplendence there. I don't necessarily care about having a quick cast time. Right now the other healers are doing a great job keeping the buff, so I'm maintaining force. Right here, that's the resplendence proc. That's what it looks like, the one in the middle with the two. You can stack up to three. So that's your bread and butter. Right now we're in Currently we are headed into the challenge. Bread and butter. That's where we, we're gonna get our force back when we need it. Right now my main focus is I can burn every ounce of my force right here. Doesn't matter. My only objective is to make sure we pass the, uh, the challenge here so that the boss does not get a buff. As you can tell my force is quite low. Here in a second I'm gonna go ahead and use Noble Sacrifice right there. As you can tell, my force is slowly popping up. I don't feel the need to use Force Mend here because my health is just barely, barely low. Instead, I rather uh, sacrifice that time to heal up the DPS. I can just go ahead and absorb, uh, soak in the heal goodness there. And we're gonna go ahead and go over here as the boss mechanic requires. Grab another green crystal. Continue healing. As we get here, obviously another spend stack. Now I'm going to use it to go ahead and re hit my force just a, a touch. If my force is over 75%, I like to keep one stack just in case I need to do salvation. I can cut the cast time down just slightly, which right now I could do and will do. Right here we're heading back into the challenge. Once again the same thing, I'm going to go ahead and burn my force. Now you can tell I have a 3 stack of resplendence. And now I'll use the majority of that to regenerate my force here on the way out. And I'm going to grab another green crystal here take this opportunity to get my healing buff just you know slightly increased focusing on tanks and whomever is low as you can tell here we lose Tristan, me being the sage I have 4 speed so I'm gonna take the second to uh, run back there and res the off tank and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kinda hit my kind of emergency button to give our tank a nice big heal, which is force potency. See it right there. Nice 11k heal. Gives him about 54% health. Unfortunately, during this time, we lose our other healer, so I take this time to use the remaining stack on myself to heal myself for a 13k heal. Allows the other healers not to really have to worry about me when I come back in. Drop another normal sacrifice. Notice we're getting a nice little. AoE damage from the boss here, so I'm going to go ahead and use my other AoE small ability here, which is going to be Force Wave. Go ahead and hit my Triage Adrenal. Nice way to buff to get yourself more healing. And once again, I'm going to go, I'm looking here. Salvation not quite on cooldown, but Force Wave is again, so I'm going to use it. I don't like generally stacking both of them at the same time. Although I will use them similar in similar situations. I might use them back to back. And as you see here, we're just going ahead and holding on. We've lost 
two people. Not a big deal when you're in story man or story mode 16 man. And boss is down. So this is like I said creating from the public echelon. This is just a quick healing tutorial on how to use resplendence.